this is something that I have been wanting to talk about for quite a while. So what we're talking about today is talking about other agents on social media. Um, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and pretty much my entire friends list is made up of realtors like you. So I'm on social media a lot. It's my job. Um, and I see the same types of things happening all the time, whether it's people posting on their personal profiles or it's people posting in other Facebook groups. This is something that is unbelievably important to remember. And I really hope that this video gets through to you. And if there's one thing that you get from listening to me, I hope it's this. Guys, it's not about, it's not us against each other. It's not agents against each other. Guys, this entire industry is kind of under threat. We do not have a future if the entire industry doesn't go through some sort of a transformation. This is not a job. This is actually more like a mission now, especially for me. This is my mission. I want you guys to understand that we as an industry, as a service provider, like the real realtors as a whole may not be here five, 10 years from now if we don't get our acts together. And so this is one of the things that is actually hurting us, okay? And this is bashing other agents on social media in a public way. Yes, I agree 10,000% that the barrier to entry to get a license is too low. And because of that, we've been, um, th th those of us who actually do provide a really great service and do really care and are running a really successful, wonderful business, we get lumped into this group of people that are not doing the same thing. But that doesn't mean that you bash other people in, in the industry. What you're actually doing, what you may not realize you're doing, is you're actually making all of us look bad. You're making the entire industry look bad. You're, look, you're making you know, the, the, the agent as a whole look unnecessary. You're not actually making yourself look better. So this is something that happens a lot. Agents will say, you know, hey, other agents, don't do this. And then other agents will comment and laugh and joke about the fact that, you know, yes, there are crappy agents out there and there always have been, but we are fighting a different battle than people who were in the industry 20 years ago. We are actually fighting the battle of survival now. And so if you are doing that, and if you're buying into that, and if you're complaining about other agents in a public way, you're hurting the entire industry. This can no longer be, I'm trying to bash other agents so that people see how great I am. That's not how it works anymore. It's not the way that it is. They are also, they may be your competition locally, but they're also really important that as a whole, as an entire industry, we are elevating the way that we're doing things. We're upgrading the way that we're doing things. We are showing up as leaders in our communities because if we don't do that, if all of you don't do that, this industry is going to turn into Zillow. It's just gonna be Zillow. It's going to be an iBuyer system. It's going to be uh, some tech company that's going to come in and is going to wipe us out because we're not doing a good job at elevating our standards and upgrading what's happening in the industry. That's why I'm here. I want to keep this industry alive and I want to, want to keep all of you in business. Okay. And so it is unbelievably important that you understand that what you put out there actually matters. It doesn't just impact you. It impacts everyone. It impacts all the other agents who are in your community or the public perception of what a realtor is and the value that we provide as a whole. I don't practice anymore. I don't sell real estate anymore, but I am so unbelievably passionate about this because really real estate's been my entire life. Grew up in real estate, have had a mom that's been a realtor who's still, who's still licensed and who still sells. Guys, if we don't do better, we're not going to exist. And all of these people who, you know, you, you may want to pass your business down to a child, to your son or your daughter, or, you know, a cousin or a, a younger sibling, you're not going to be able to do that. Or you want to be in the business for another 20 years. You're not going to be able to do that. If we don't actually understand how this industry is changing and elevate the way that we're doing things and actually collaboratively execute this. Put whatever you put out there online actually matters. 
if you influence three people in your lifetime to think that agents are actually not valuable or as a whole that like you're making fun of other agents who are maybe not as knowledgeable as you, you're actually degrading the way that we are seen in the public's eye. There was a study that was done a while ago. I can't tell you exactly because let's be honest, I don't have a brain for details like that. But there was a study done and people were um, basically asked what the level of trust or what the level of uh, professionalism or authority or whatever you want to call it was in different industries. The only industry that we were above was used car salespeople. And that's not the public's fault. That's our fault. We are not doing a good job. We are selling scarcity and manipulation. We are degrading other people in our industry to get a deal. We are advertising as though we are selling, um, I don't know, like I, th I think agents, for the most part, agent billboards, buses, things like that, that we, are, that we see are almost worse than, you know, injury, injury law, firms. And let's be honest, like those are not great. So I think that it's unbelievably important that we stop this garbage. I go into other real estate Facebook groups and the agents are unbelievably mean to each other. They talk crap to each other. Someone asks a question and gets bombarded and called stupid and made fun of. Guys, like that's not how the industry as a whole up levels. It is not just because you've been in the business for 30 years doesn't make you better than someone who's been in the, in the industry for five. I want you to realize that if we don't make things better, we are not gonna be around. And we've seen so many industries that have been completely wiped out by tech companies. That is our future if we don't do better, okay? That is our future if we don't do better. So if you are one of those people who has done this in the past, Okay, I'm going to do better in the future. Stop posting on social media. About, and yes, you may get a couple laughs from other agents. But at the end of the day, every there's all kinds of other people who are not agents who are seeing that. And if you want to do good, if you want to do well for the industry, you want to give back to this industry, I want you to make sure that you know that you have to support new agents. You have to help everyone around you actually elevate what they're doing so that it is more and more and more valuable. Your marketing has to be better. This isn't just posting, just listed, just sold. I don't say this stuff just because I think that it's important to have better marketing so you make more money. Do I want that for you? Of course. But I also want this industry to be better. I don't want so much garbage put out there. I don't want agents who are, I mean, that's the other reason I don't cold call and I don't teach cold calling because the more you bother people, the more you're not relevant, the more, if you know my methodology, the more that you're the mosquito, the worse people think about agents as a whole. Have you ever been to a networking event or a party or anything and someone introduces you as a realtor and immediately you feel that person pull back? That is what we've done to this industry. People assume that we are going to be sleazy salespeople, that we're going to slip a card into their hand, that we're going to be that person that they want to avoid. If we want this industry to be respected, we have to build relationships. Relationships are the game here. And I don't mean manual relationships. You need to build a big, strong business. You need to make more and more and more money. You need to grow and create authority and leverage in your, in your business because that's how this industry is going to survive. Okay. If we're just doing the bare minimum, if we're discounting, if we're not giving people high value services, then we are not showing people that we are necessary and valuable and important and that we are needed. Necessary, needed, same thing. We have to show the world, show our communities, show our markets that we are here to stay and not just by saying we're here to stay and not just complaining about Zillow. Don't give Zillow money and then complain about Zillow. 
Don't give tech companies that are trying to put you out of business money and then complain about the way that they do things or make fun of the Zestimate, okay? You don't get to do things. You don't get to be hypocritical anymore. If this is something that is important to you and you want this industry to continue, I want you to take a stand and look at the way that you are operating. Look at the way that you're posting online. Are you doing the best that you possibly can? Have you learned from people who know what they're doing? Are you engaging people who are going to elevate your services and your business? Are you working on your business every single day to make it better and better and more valuable? Because if you are, fantastic. But what you post, what you put out there, everything that you do actually reflects on the rest of us. So this is a responsibility not only to yourself and to your business, but to all of us. So what I'm hoping is that you get tremendous value out of this group, that you see that everything that I teach in here is not only about making you more money, it's also about fixing this industry, saving this industry from all of the threats that are coming at us. Okay, that was my rant. I love you guys so much. And I love this industry. <laughs> and I love the, 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 the impact that we can actually have here if we do it right and if we do it well. If any of this resonated with you, please comment below and tell me. I would love to start more conversation around this. It's been on my heart. It's been on my mind. And I think that we all need to stop looking at our businesses as our businesses. And we need to look at the industry as a whole. This is no longer a situation where we get to be selfish. We have to look at the industry as a whole. We have to help each other. And we have to keep realtors, these service providers that we are, that care, that want to do a good job for the people around us, who want to do a good job for our clients, who want to provide for our families, who want to have impact in this world, have freedom in their lives, we have to do better with every single thing that we put out there. Okay. Okay. That was my, that was my talk for today. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs>